Hello, sweet team. Welcome back to my channel. This is Sweet Ajele and I am back with another sweet tip for you all. How to prep and clean your gizzard to smell good and to taste even better. Let's get started. In a bowl, add in your washed gizzards. To that, some salt. Yes, and be generous with it. I'm also going to go ahead and add in some distilled white vinegar. You may use lemon or lime if you prefer, but I find that the vinegar works better. Or you can use both. I'm also going to add in some water, stir everything together, and I'm going to allow this to sit for about five minutes and we are back now where i get my gizzards from the yellowish skin is already off but if it's not then you want to inspect it and remove any if you find it there's also some whitish stringy parts of the gizzards that i do not enjoy at all i like to remove all of that so this takes a little time but gizzards can be very delicious it's just that you have to work with it a lot because it does have a smell to it and you need to clean it really really well here i have one that is nicely cleaned and the other one that is not okay i'm not sure what those are called but i don't know if it's veiny parts of it but i don't like it i don't want to see it i want my gizzards to be nice and clean so we're going to remove all of that we'll then transfer it into our sink and we would wash it until it is nice and clean and we no longer have any vinegar on it okay so i washed this about two to three times Now, this next step is very important, at least to me. I'm going to parboil it. So I set it on my fire. I'll add enough water and some salt. I'll cover it up and bring it to a boil just until it boils. You do not want to trap the smells in the pot. So once it boils, I'll open it up and allow it to boil for a good 10 minutes and then we'll get it off the stove back into the sink we'll pour that water out dirty water <laughs> and then we'll give it a good 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 final wash continental food madam food madam international food captain who show you how to make pizza jala mango and ogro soup sushi Once we're done washing it, we're going to go ahead and cut it into bite-sized pieces depending on the recipe that you're making. If you're making stew that you'll be using your fingers to enjoy, we like to take things and bite on it. You know how Africans like to do it. But if you're making like peppered gizzard or any type of hors d'oeuvre or appetizer you want to cut it into bite-sized pieces and you may put toothpicks and stuff in there to enjoy it like that so once it's cooked it shrinks to its perfect size although it may shrink a little more by the time it's done cooking at least you know what you're working with but if you cut it before cooking it may become smaller than you would want it to and again my kitchen shears to the rescue but you may use a cutting board and a knife and that is it this is how i like to clean and prep my gizzard before i use it in any recipe thank you all so so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this sweet 
sweet tip and are inspired to try doing it this way. If you do, tag me on Instagram and I will be super happy to share it on my story. Until I see you in the next one, stay safe, keep loving each other, and remember that the love of God and family is life's greatest blessing. And guys, ke onamini ochemi sweet mahabutsu. Bye y'all.